One, two, three. Hi! The catch up is back with. I am back. Okay, let's start. Stop it! Can okay. you please introduce Wait, where not we my, are? This is my show. Uh, no. We are Amokyo Linear Park. Not everything is about you, Andy Chan. Oh, coming from you. Okay, I'll hold this. Wow! Yeah. Oh my god, so good. Okay, I have to say that's the only reason I really miss you because no all one. the other guests I have to hold. The... I saw the episode. I was like thinking, what? Wow, Jade must be damn sick. She's holding the Super camera. Super I think my arm like. Okay, I gotta say, and he's always been the camera one, and this is the only reason when you took over the camera that I have to say, bro, I miss you. All right. Man, Otherwise, man. the rest of it I don't lah. Jeez. I miss like putting you down. Shut up. Irritating you. Oh my god, so irritating. <laughs> so irritating. Okay, so you're back from Taiwan. I am. I am back from Taiwan for quite a while. Are you back for good? I am back for um, a few things. Mm-hmm. Uh, my movie was just up last a few weeks ago. Yeah. And then it's nice to be home. I launched my company. Yes. And then uh, I'm also shooting a drama series. So I was staying till about Chinese New Year next year. Nice. So you were ba- you've been back for a while. Have you been mm. open that you've been back for a while? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. From the day I've been back, I've been open. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. So, okay, your new business. Mm. Uh, there was a wow, huge article on uh, Chen Bang Jun, something about, don't know what yeah, Shen yeah, yeah. Yi, Everybody don't thinks what... I'm a millionaire now. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> if you calculate, like, nice try. If you calculate, like, the 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 company's worth at this point of time, like, me, the company is worth a certain amount of money and I'm a, like a large owner of the company. La. So you are a millionaire? La. I'm not, I mean, like, it's not like I have a million dollars in my bank or anything. I don't but your company has a million dollars? My company has, is valued at that. Nice, yeah, yeah, nice. It's valued nice, at nice. a certain amount, la, which is quite, also quite surprising and quite quickly. La. Want to share in a nutshell what quickly like you've been doing? Okay, so that? basically, wow, this is a bit hard to explain, but I think people who know will know. Yep. But I'll try and simplify it. Right, so basically, we see that there's a future whereby people are going to move from spending time in the physical world into yep. the digital world, which is the metaverse, lah, yep. or yuan yu zhou. Yuan yu zhou, <laughs> wow. metaverse in Chinese, right? Xin de ci. Yes, very good. So, <laughs> so, so uh, we, we see that, but moving in is difficult for most people. So okay. they either don't know what to do to get yep. involved, or they are too busy to have time and energy to do it. Okay. And like everything else, if you are the first mover into this metaverse, yep. right, you're basically like the first person that discovered America, lah, right? Okay. So you have a lot of... You have a lot of upside. So are you the first person in the... I'm not the first person for sure, but we are still super, early super movers, early. Yeah. So we are basically building all the infrastructure, building all the system, the instruments, uh, through, especially through blockchain gaming now, yep. to bring people into this metaverse so that they can be the first movers and they can prosper and, you know... Is this like the world up. of NFTs? This Did is the world right? of blockchain gaming, yep. NFTs, uh, cryptocurrencies. That's that's the whole world. Uh. But basically, it's very simple. We think, so even if you don't know anything, you can come and look for us. Yep. Our website is freedomnation.io. Wow, wow, wow. I like the plug there. <laughs> nice, right? So you can just kind of uh, so basically you can sponsor players to play, and then when they win, then we share we share the card, lah. Ah, okay. Yeah, correct. Okay, got it. Okay. How about you? Cool. I also know you have quite a lot of uh. Yeah, man. Ching. Hey, wow! Sure? My right. company is valued at a million dollars. I want to ask you a million air, but I know you are a million air a long time. Hey, ago. wow, 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 wow! <laughs> this one, I tell you, do I miss so. you? No. Okay, wow. Well, since since. Since you've been gone, <laughs> I launched two businesses, uh-huh. right? So I launched my athleisure wear line called uh-huh. Juja. Yeah. So it's like sportswear, active wear, everything in between. Basically, everybody is dressed in active wear most of the time, lah. Uh, or like chill out stuff, athleisure, la. yeah. yeah. so that's that. It's a bit hard the plug, but can lah. Can Shut up, la. You think you're so plug very subtle, man? Wear? Yes, yes. So we have a unisex line as well. Oh god, la, yes. but never send me there. Eh. Weird. <laughs> Wait, pay say le. Wait, pay say le. Moving on, and the other, the other business that I launched is uh, actually quite similar to yours uh-huh. because I do feel that things are moving to metaverse or basically online lah, uh, right? Digital world. Digital world. So uh-huh. like, I mean, we've moved for a while, but mm. now I think we're truly with the gaming side, the arts, and like shopping. It's mm. all really, really moving there. So mm. I've launched Kaki Kaki Live. So it's a live streaming platform. So we sell, we bring you good deals lah. So I live stream right. like three, if not four, five times a week. Yeah, and I've partnered with, uh, I cannot say who I've partnered with, mm-hmm. uh, I will share in time, but I've partnered with someone who has really good links to really cool designer deals, okay, all that's right. all I can say. So right? designer stuff, but like, wow, shock prices. Shock prices. So I'm oh, traveling wow. to Europe next week. Never send me also. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Traveling to Europe next week, so I'll be live streaming from there mm. and bringing you deals from certain parts of Europe as well. So that's my wow. two new businesses. Yeah. Well, give me a high five, man. We, wow. We've been very busy uh, yeah, since we last busy. talked. And the last, I was just saying, right, the last time we met, Jay was telling me, I think I'm going to take it easy. <laughs> okay, it's not happening. Not, no, not happening with Jay. Both when I heard it, I was like, mm, I'm not sure whether she really can do it. Both of these were partnerships with uh, 
people who I feel like really are partners I want to partner with mm. and who have a lot of experience in mm. the areas that I don't, which okay. I think is the best for business, right? So I couldn't say no lah. Okay, I actually said no to a lot of other deals, but these two I think were really good and yeah, I, I'm not taking it easy lah. I, I'll put it straight lah. Yeah, I've been la. really busy, yeah. That's good lah. But yeah, yeah, I mean then you are also going to start traveling because of your work and everything. Right? Yes, That's I'm, what you have always wanted to do. Yes, I'm so glad we can start traveling again. Mm. Actually, yeah, why don't you talk a bit more about the traveling thing. I mean, coming from Taiwan, yeah. you know, let's weigh in. I know like we've talked COVID to death, but also because COVID is part of our lives now. Mm. Right, can you weigh in the Taiwan versus Singapore situation? Okay. And what do you think of the Singapore vaccination situation now? Okay, so... Wow. A lot, we're huh? going back to the catch-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Just now was we literally we catch up, but now we are like the catch-up. Very fast, very sensitive again. Okay, good, good. Let's, let's go there. Yes. Okay, so basically our producer Jack. Jack, hi Jack. Hi Jack. So Jack sent us this clip, mm. uh-huh, which, she, which she didn't watch. Hey, shut up! <laughs> she said cannot say it, but Jack, she never watched. I, I watched uh, after that. Uh, no, he, well, he filmed me in. Okay, anyway, moving on. Okay, so basically it's a Trevor Noah yep. clip, right? And then with Ronnie Chen on, on the side. So he was basically saying that like from a certain date onwards, non-vaccinated individuals if they get COVID, then they have the government is not paying for them yeah. anymore. They got to pay by themselves. Uh. So basically, this this hoo ha about like how Singapore works and like how this will never fly in the in the states, and then also like, how efficient Singapore is. Yeah. Singapore has decided to hit the unvaccinated where it hurts most, their wallets. So I'm there are a few things like first thing if you watch the clip, one thing I need to clarify is that Trevor Noah say that if you litter in Singapore, you will get cane. So that is obviously not true. Really? Right? All these like foreigners not knowing. Yeah, and, but okay, so I, I was very upset. I was like, oh my god, I, I know where this is going. But after that, they cut to Roni Chang. We actually have a representation. Okay, true. We true, actually true, have Roni Chang, which is a, I mean, yeah, Malaysian, so, yeah, but yeah. lived in Singapore for a long time. Yeah. At least this part and of the world. And then he like... actually explained basically how Singapore works, right? Like, yeah. we don't care about labels, we don't care about anything, we just look at the results. Mm. Look, Everything... okay, can I see the results? Can you see how clean this park is? Just saying, on exactly. the littering front, just, just look at it. Exactly. So, how efficient the government and the country just run things as efficiently as possible. Yeah. Don't care about anything else, like, which sometimes can be very cool. In Singapore, we just. The healthcare system just works. Like we never, you know, I, it, I can't explain this in five seconds so no one's going to care. But essentially it takes like free market principles and socialist principles and combines them together. All they care about is efficiency in Singapore. They don't politicize solutions. Okay, so I can talk about this very objectively because I've not been in Singapore for about yeah. a year already. So when I come back, right, there's a few things that I observed. Mm. Okay, the first thing is that I feel that a lot of my the people that I interact with, right, I feel the unhappiness level seems to be higher. Okay. okay? In terms of what? In terms of like the way the our government is handling the situation. Oh, yes. yes right? They yeah. are like, they seem to be very... The, the angst level is higher only, than, than I... If, if I'm going to put it really bluntly, right, because yes. I feel the same as you, I feel mm. like a lot of the people that I knew that were very supportive of a lot of the government decisions mm. to do with COVID... Should we walk back? At the start, right? Yeah. They are now changing their tune. At the start, they're like, yeah, very good, very efficient. Our government taking care of us. Now everyone's like, we're like a nanny state. What's with the two people rule going on for like forever yeah. when we can travel and have five to ten people or more mm. when we travel? So I, I'm feeling a lot of the unhappiness yeah. as well. And yeah. a lot of these are not from like government haters. Uh. They're yes. from people who are hardcore yes. government supporters. Yes. And now they, they have really flipped. Lah. Okay, I've seen it in my own friends and family, to be honest. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, like, for yeah. me, like a lot of my friends that used to be very like okay mm. with all the policies they, yes. they also are like voicing out very like, unhappy concerns. so I, I can feel that there is this very severe COVID fatigue mm. which I personally have a very different experience because I wasn't here yeah. right so that's my observation my second observation is that I am one of the rare one of the 64,000 people in Singapore that is not fully vaccinated <gasps> <laughs> is, I heard you vaccinated your Actually, safe. that's true. Okay, so you dumb dumb. But it's true, it's true. I'm saying that because actually this is a very dumb dumb reaction, and I feel like I, I have an earlier episode with Paul Foster right, where uh-huh. we talked about like there's actually a few. I feel like mm. there's a great vex divide between mm. the vex and the non vex, and a lot of the people who have been vexed are like, you know, they give the non vex like, e why are you like that? Why you don't want to get vexed? Mm. And have you gotten discriminated against like uh, that? I mean, not personally because. My reason is not I, I'm anti-vax, right? Yeah. It's because I just got back to Singapore. Okay, so this is just a timing thing. But yeah, I have friends who thing. have gotten like really like... Yes. Other people I'm getting sure. angry with them because they're anti-vax. I saw. Yeah. And also, maybe not angry, but some of them, they're like... In, in this case, let's say you're not fully vaxxed, right? They're like, mm. uh, Andy, I can't meet you until after you're vaxxed. I have friends like that. Oh, and I was wow. like, but actually, if you're vaxxed, you're protected. Well, who cares? Yeah. Like, let's say, in this case, if anything happens, you can not like, I am vaxxed. Mm. But there is this like fear, I think, and then this irrational thinking. 
Mm. Right. And then the government, of course, is, I feel like, not helping this sort of divide. Right. With things Doubling like, down with that. La. Yeah. Like now it's like, okay, the non-vax cannot even go into a shopping mall mm. to buy like groceries, yeah, for example. Tell me about it. Not very hard. Yeah. And then like the, the non-vax now, as, as per the Trevor Noah video, they... If they, they were to get the, COVID, they yeah. have to pay for the entire treatment. La. I feel like I'm an alien in my own home, la, right? Okay. Because I can't do a lot of things. I can't meet a lot of my yeah. friends. I have to, they have to come to my place yeah. and then, you know, like only like one or two at, yeah. at a time. And so, and I can't buy groceries. Like the first day I got here, I'm like, okay, shit, I need a modem. I, need, I, I, I can't, can't, I can't get it. Right? I, I don't know where to yeah. get it anymore. So like I, I had to ask people for help and everything. La. So mm. I felt, I felt that was not a great experience. Definitely the people that are choosing not to get vaccinated is being penalized quite badly. Uh. Yeah. Being quite badly. Do you think they should be? Okay, honestly speaking, uh, like we mentioned initially, right? Yeah. Very early ago, we say like, oh, you know, we, we, if there's a choice, I'd rather not get mm. vaccinated. Yeah. That was our stand, right? Yes, that was So the reason stand. why I got vaccinated now is because uh, this, is what, this, is, this is what we chose, right? This is what the country chose, the, government, the people here chose, right? Yeah. And, and the whole, you, you have to get along with the plan. It's not about me alone, right? It's about the whole plan. Yeah. And the plan now is basically everybody, everybody gets get vaxxed and then everybody get COVID. True, true, true. Right? Because it's like, like, cannot really say this. Like then, because they still think that, huh? then people are like, yeah, I get vaxxed or what? If I'm yeah. still going to get COVID. But the point is, you get vaxxed so, when you, so that when you get COVID, which will probably happen, mm -hmm. you get it in a non-harmful, you know, like a flu-like way, la, not in a way mm -hmm. that it's going to make you die. La. You're yeah. right. Yeah, I feel right. that a lot of people are not getting that. They're just like, I get vaxxed, then all still very scared to get COVID. Yeah. But actually, honestly, everyone may probably, will probably get COVID yeah. at one point in time. The whole plan is for, I, I mean, I read between the lines, like, and I feel the whole plan is for the whole of Singapore to get well, COVID. But I think like they can't say that or they are worried about saying that because first of all, most people are not so up to date. So their yeah, perception of COVID is still back yeah. a year ago where it's very, very scary. And Death rate is sort of yeah. high and everything. And, and, but now the COVID situation is completely different. Yeah. So you can't just tell people but, that. Like, oh, you know, we are, our plan is to let everyone get COVID. But then again, right, if the plan is everyone gets vaxxed, everyone get COVID, then what's with the two people rule? What's with what's the controlling with the, the two like two people rule? All the rules are still oh, so strict. Technically, right, okay, so the the narrative seems to be like they want to protect the non-vaccinated people, right? That's the narrative that, that, that seems to be pushing. Yeah. But it also feels like Conspiracy. Like, I can feel I can see <laughs> in this conspiracy theory yeah, phase. Jack is gonna put the Yeah 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 yeah. It feels like it feels like okay. It feels like um they just want as many people to get vaccinated as quickly as possible so they can move on and open up the country. So they're making order. life as miserable as possible and to, so that everybody gets vaccinated. Uh, I cannot say for sure, but it definitely feels like the quality of life for people that choose not to get vaccinated is getting like no, no, okay. Like so what, what about the people? Okay, the, the fact is, even for the, the vex people, right, mm. we can only go out in groups of two unless you're yeah. part of the same household and they do check your IC, by the way, true story. Right. So, um, what's with that? Like, what's with that? Like, since again, the plan is everybody just get COVID, so everybody vex should be allowed to go out. Ag again, again, then that's why, that's why I, I say like, the communication is not clear, right? Yeah, because, because I'm not getting the communication at all. Okay, yeah, yeah and you've been I'm here not, for I'm all not, this time. I, I also felt that the, the point is everybody get vexed, everybody get COVID. Then I'm like, then why still hold us down so tightly, the ones who are vexed, like it, me? I think because there's also a lot of people that are Every, they just look at the numbers, right? Oh, 3,000 cases, 4,000 cases, 2,000 cases, and then, oh, the Singapore government is not doing anything about it. Oh, Singapore government is very lousy. So, like, this is the, so this is the chain of thought, right? So, they're like, oh, I, I, but we, we want to let everybody get COVID, but yet we cannot let everybody get COVID. So, it, it feels like it's... It, wow, okay. real decisive there, yeah, then. I'm just saying, if, <laughs> if that is the point, that is... <laughs> they ask you go Lim Tay, don't come, <laughs> you don't come and scold me, uh, I never say. I'm uh, just saying, if, uh, if, 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 let's say we're breaking it down correctly, then yeah. that's... Like then if, if the point is everybody get vexed, everyone get COVID because mm. it's endemic, right? Then mm. now you're saying, but ho, I scared to let y'all go out and big groups because I cannot commit that plan. Then okay. yeah, that's real so, decisive there. So the narrative is also that they need to slowly let people get COVID in a in a certain rate of growth because if not the, the healthcare system cannot support lah. That's okay. yeah, so that's why you need to still control people okay. even though they are vaccinated. Okay, that makes sense, right? That, that makes sense, that yeah. Makes that sense, makes right? sense. So okay, sense. I can I can buy that also. So like to me I feel it's very uncomfortable and not well communicated but I see the full I, I kind of see what they're trying to do and so I'm you're just down like with okay lor I just do it lor okay yeah I mean but to okay. be fair I spent like three to six months in Singapore right mm. but the every you've Singaporean you've not been here spend, so long yeah about nine months yeah. so like, most of Singaporeans they are spending every single day of their life here and for the past two years they have not gone overseas at all so I can also understand that to them it's super, super frustrating yeah, yeah. alright and then there's a lot of fear mongering and stuff so anyway <laughs> Before I go real heavy into this, yeah. let us know what you think. Let us know yes. whether you think people who are non-vax should be as penalized. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you think, you know, you know, everyone's been doing a great job with the measures, mm -hmm. uh, the powers that be, and let us know your thoughts on traveling, 
on everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, remember to check out our businesses. <laughs> Yes, correct Freedom Nation and Juja.com, also Kaki Kaki Life. Yes. And uh, I guess we'll see you soon. After your vex, maybe we can go out and eat. Yeah! <laughs> Bye! Bye.